Welcome to Miss Kathy's Talks. I sure miss seeing you, but hopefully uh, you guys are doing well, and hopefully it won't be too much longer until we get to see each other. Um, in today's Miss Kathy's Talks, I want to talk about something that I have to deal with too. I mean, Monday we talked about self-control, uh, and I have to deal with that as well. And so all of these Miss Kathy's Talks are for Miss Kathy too, not just you guys, and for your parents, I'm assuming. But today we're going to be talking about putting God first, which can be very hard to do sometimes. And today I'm going to use the example of with allowance money, even though giving God um, um, our best can mean things besides money. Okay, It can mean our time, what we do with our time, and so on. But I'm going to use allowance. Now I'm going to pretend... Pretend, because I don't know anybody that gets $10 a week in allowance, okay? I got a dollar a week. And when I was uh, nine years old, I would get a dollar. Uh, my dad would hand it out on Saturdays. And then the first thing we were supposed to do, because he gave it to us in dimes, was we were supposed to take one of our dimes and put it aside for church, because the Bible talks about giving 10% um, to the church. So, um, we'd put a dime in, and I had 90 cents to spend on whatever I wanted. But back then, McDonald's hamburgers were only at 15 cents. So I could actually, gosh, I'm old. But anyway, I could get some things for 90 cents for a week. But anyway, let's pretend that um, I'm getting $10 a week for my allowance. And I'm, first of all, I'm thinking to myself, hmm, that gives me quite a bit. Let's, let's pretend that this banana is my allowance, okay? And uh, the Bible in the book of Proverbs, verse 9, it says, honor the Lord with your wealth. Here's my allowance money. I'm going to put my banana back together. It's not supposed to fall apart. Okay, I put my banana back together. All right, it says, um, by giving God your best. So you know what? I do want to give, I do want to buy a canned food to give to the food pantry at church on Sunday. So um, I want to make sure I have enough to do that. But I don't need to set it aside now because I got 10 bucks. So every time I eat from this banana, I'm going to be buying something with my $10, okay? So, Mom is taking me to Walmart today, and there are video games on sale, or she took me on Tuesday, let's say, and video games on sale, so I am buying a $3 video game. Hang on. Okay. That's about $3. Mm. $3 of my $10, okay? I bought a video game. I still have plenty. I still have plenty of money for uh, that food pantry thing at the church for the, for the people who need the food. The next day, me and my brother walked to Casey's and we got to get a candy bar. Mm. That was a dollar. Here we go. Huh? Mm. Mm. I'm about halfway done. And then, the next night, we begged Mom. Mom, please. Dole Whip is open. Take us to Dole Whip. Mom said, it's too expensive. And you thought to yourself, wait a minute. You have money? So, I wanted something from Dole Whip for $2. I had plenty of money. And I still have enough for Mm -hmm. That food pantry thing at church. All right, hold on. Let me eat my dough whip. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. So I spent three dollars on a video game, dollar on a candy bar, two dollars on dough whip, six dollars. All right. It's Friday. We're bored. We don't live too far from Dairy Queen. There is nothing better than a blizzard. Nothing better. So 
So me and my sister went to get a blizzard. I didn't want a mini. I wanted a small because the small um, was more. You know what my favorite kind is? I love the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup ones. They're kind of expensive, but well worth it. Okay. Mmm. That blizzard is good. Mmm. Actually, it was expensive enough. It took my whole ten dollars. But it's okay. I got a video game, a candy bar, Dole Whip, and a blizzard. Oh, I was supposed to buy a can of food. I was going to use a dollar of it to... I don't have any... I don't have any money left. I just have the scraps. Sorry, God. Not this time. I know you didn't need the money, but you want us to give so we can help others. So... Sorry. Do we do that sometimes? Do we take our time and our money and get everything we want instead of asking God what he wants us to do? Maybe instead of food pantry, it was buying a small gift for a neighbor who's having a birthday and they can't have a party because of the, the virus, and you drop off, you spend some money and drop that off. Or um, There's all sorts of things you can do, but sometimes we think to ourselves, me, 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 me. What do I want? And God wants us to keep him first. And maybe we should ask him what we should do. Okay? This message was for me just as much as, as it was for you. What can I do for others? All right. That banana was good. Guess what, Cameron? It's time to spin the wheel. Okay? Me. Oh, by the way, you know what can get confusing sometimes, Cameron? Huh. I mean, when you're a kid, um, you really don't get allowances much. Right. You know? Um, so, I don't want them to think it's just money. So, there's things they can do with their time. Like, rather than playing Fortnite all day, maybe, maybe you can make a card for a grandparent. Okay? Help mom with some chores when she didn't ask you. Mow she, your neighbor's lawn? Mow your neighbor's lawn. I mean, there's all sorts of things you can do. Let's spin the wheel. All right. <gasps> when we got a number between one and six, we draw a name from the Cross Kids bucket. What did you do in the bucket? There it is. Cameron, I'm going to let you draw a name from all the kids in all of our yeah. campuses. All the kids in all the yeah. campuses. Here we go. All right, Scott, I'll be in contact with Mom and Dad, and I will deliver something to your door. Oh! See you guys Friday!